Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to update the algorithm on your Coal Engine P2X. Should be very similar to the G-Series from Coal Engine, as well as the Superscaler K10. But because the onboard memory of the K10 is a little bit smaller, in my opinion, than the Coal Engine P2, and I could be wrong about that, it just doesn't take as long to program the P2 as it would the K10. However, before we get into those steps, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you courtesy of JingleMining.com, one of the leading crypto hardware vendors out there, providing you products ranging from the Jazz Miner to the Bitmain Ant Miners, as well as the Cool Engine P2. You can help support this channel by supporting its sponsors. Link is in the description. Now I'm going to have everything linked down in the description to the guide in English and all the tools that you might need, including the firmware that you would need for the P2-X uh, to change the algorithm and everything. Uh, but the basic steps are this. First, obviously identify the pool you want to mine on. In this case, we went from Carlson Hash to Alpheum just to make sure that the programming worked, and it did. Now, unfortunately, Hero Miners has over 77% of the net hash, so we're not going to choose that pool. Instead, we're going to choose Viper Pool. And if we go to Viper Pool, click the little rocket, or the Get Started, we can go and find which server is closest or best for us. In this case, I'm in the southeast of the United States, so Georgia is best for me. And we can see the Stratum plus TCP, server name, and port. We're going to need that information. And there's two ways to apply that. Either we can use the server URL naming, or we can use the IP address. To get the IP address, just copy the server URL except for the port and the Stratum plus TCP. Just copy that. Go to whatsmyip.org and click on the who is and DNS section. And then you can put in that parameter, right? Whatever that server URL is and do a DNS lookup and it will spit out this IP address. Either one would work. Some pools, uh, or the machine likes the IP and some pools the machine can do either or just do whatever your system seems to end up liking so now we identified the pool uh, that we're going to mine on now you're going to need a wallet alfim has a number of different wallets desktop wallet extensions mobile wallet whichever you prefer just go and get yourself an alfim address or whatever address for whatever algorithm you want the steps will apply it just will be a difference in algorithm so once you have your wallet and your wallet address and we identified the pool this is what we got to do now i have the p2 management tool that is all in Chinese. So I've been translating it with Google Lens, but I'm going to do the steps in the English version designed for the K10. It's actually one version down. Instead of 2.3.59 uh, for the P2, uh, the K10's tool is, is 2.3.58. But either way, the buttons is what I care about, right? Because this helps us translate. The first step is to specify the IP address of where the machine lives. And so we want to put in the starting IP by clicking this tab right here that says IP change. In the Chinese version, you'll see the third tab says IP, even if you don't understand the rest. You click on that, and then you're able to put in the starting IP of the subnet that that machine is on, right? So if your subnet is 192.168.0.1, and your machine is, you know, dot .47 or whatever, it will scan through all that as long as you put in the correct subnet uh, IP address, starting IP address, and the gateway for that particular uh, uh, subnet. Then you're going to hit start revise, a window pops up, you click OK, another window pops up, and you just click this bottom right button, which I believe is OK as well. And now you can go to the machine info tab and hit scan machine. When you hit scan machine, it's going to locate your machine, hopefully, and then you'll be able to select it and do start or stop status. All that does is give you the latest status on the machine. So we can see the average temperatures, the clocks, the hash rate, so on and so forth. Once you confirm that you can see the machine on the network and you're talking to it and all that stuff, before we can update the algorithm in the update and set tab, we got to first set the wallet address and everything up under the pull set tab. First off, click the algo, right? If you come to this drop down, you see Radiant, Alpheum, Blake 3 for Ironfish, uh, which has probably changed if not changed already. Carlson and Casper. Just choose the algorithm you want. And then put in your pool address, right? Whether it's the server URL by name or the IP address, colon, the port number. Uh, I like to add the Stratum plus TCP in there. And then your wallet address. But don't put a worker name. The machine will automatically add your worker name for you. It just won't be the worker name that you want. Then the pool parameter. Now, the pool parameters vary depending upon the algorithm and the pool that you are utilizing. In this case with Viper, I'm going to use default. I even use default for um, Carlson hash 
before and it and it worked but on a different pool and jingle mining's guide actually has some inf interesting information let me read this to you so for alfium on hero miners right and you can see it either has alfium.herominers.com or the ip address plus the port number it's using a pool parameter of default but then on carlson and hero miners it's using fish and then for radiant on hashpool.space it's using default as well as uh, for Ironfish on F2 pool, it's using default. But then for Carlson on Hero Miners, it's using Fish. So you got to choose whichever one, you know, fits. But so far, I've been doing pretty good with default or Fish. So Fish for Carlson, default for Alfium and some of the others. Uh, but you might have to play around. If you, if you set it and it doesn't work, you check it, keep an eye on the pool level. Make sure shares are showing up, all that good stuff. You're seeing your hash rate then you're good to go. If you don't, change the pool parameter and then set it again. But once you have your pool set up, the next steps are to hit start set. A little window will pop up. You click OK on it. Wait a little bit and then click read parameter. And you will see it output the pools that you're connected to as well as the algorithm. Make sure everything matches up. Now you're good to go there. Then you want to go to the update and set tab where we can actually burn or program the, uh, the algorithm. Quick interruption. While you have the pool set and you're about to update the algorithm on your device, go back to the machine info tab, click on remote control, which is the fourth tab, second row, and click on the option that says allow load algorithm. The other options will be grayed out. So it's the one in the middle on the second row and you just wanna hit allow load algorithm and okay. Then you will be able to hit okay again and actually update the algorithm in the image burn section so on jingomining.com everything linked down in the description once again you just choose whichever release is best for you our, our device is the p2x we don't want the p2g but we download this and we're going to extract the files and so when we go browse right we're going to the update and set image burn burn file hit the browse button you will be able to see that there's four images for alpha and blake 3 kls and radiant so if we choose this uh, and choose the image and hit open, it will populate the bottom three sections. So algorithm, version number, chip type. And now all we gotta do is hit algorithm burn. However, do not be like me and interrupt the burning process. The K10 is gonna take a hot minute to program. Well, I saw only 20 to 25, roughly 25 minutes for the coal engine P2 to actually burn the algorithm, okay? So don't interrupt it by doing a stop start status or updating the pool configuration, just be patient. What you're gonna see is after you hit algorithm burn, a window pops up, you're gonna click okay. Then another window pops up saying that the burning is in process. You're gonna have to translate it, use Google Lens. You click okay again. Now go to the machine info and you should already have stop start status enabled. And you're gonna see the status change right here on this section. It says mining right now, but it's gonna change to then stopped, then loading, and then program and that programming is the one you really need to wait and be patient for once that programming is actually done it will automatically start mining during this time you will see or hear your machine ramp up and ramp down as far as the fan speeds goes as it's starting to program everything and obviously because it's not running it's not as hot so the machine fluctuates just let it go let it ride and you'll be good to go eventually in the future jingle mining or coal engine or both are working on a much simpler way to update the algorithm on these machines. But as of right now, those are the steps, as simply as I can put them. IP change, put the IP of your starting IP, your gateway. Then go to the machine info to scan for machine, select it, start status to make sure it's showing up and that you're talking to it. You can see the, the power draw, or not the power draw, the uh, average temperature, so on and so forth. Everything is good to go. Then you hit stop status, go to the pool set, Put in your algorithm that you want, the pool server address, the wallet address, and the pool parameter. Hit start set. Okay, okay. Read parameter. Everything looks good. Now go to update and set. Browse for the image. Select the image and hit algorithm burn. If you want more information and some of the experience that I had, especially with the uh, the error with chip three, there's going to be a longer form video that is out there on the channel. But as far as getting the algorithm updated. It is just that simple, and hopefully it will be a lot simpler in the future. We can confirm our machine is hashing away at the pool level and is bouncing around as far as hash rate, but it's actually getting more 
than what is uh being told to us by the product page for example on Alpheum, we should only be getting around 37.13 giga hash i'm averaging around 40 giga hash somewhere in that area obviously will fluctuate but this is good uh practice for somebody that doesn't play around with fpgas the bit streams are all there for you all you gotta do is apply the image and you're good to go i will leave links down in the description to jinglemind.com um, and by supporting our sponsors, you're supporting the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. But that's going to do it for today's video. Hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description. to support the channel and what we do here. You just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.